Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create that Etsy bookmark that analyzes bestsellers. If you remember in a previous video, I'll link that video down below. Um, I think I named the title like hack, or I uh, sorry, I named the thumbnail hack Etsy bestsellers. Many people were asking, okay, but I don't understand how do you create the bookmark or where do I put the code or all these questions. And I realized I was not very thorough in explaining it. Fair. So I'm making this video just for that. It'll just take a couple minutes for me to walk you through it. Okay. You don't have to understand how and why these things, this works. I'm just going to show you how to do it. Okay. Okay. Let me share you my screen. Okay. First and foremost, the Google doc with the codes in it. You can get this from down below. I'll put it down below this video, as well as the original video that went over this method. Okay. If you're like, watching this video, didn't, don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you watch my previous video. I'll link it down below. So open this up. And the first code is meant to analyze bestsellers that you get after you search on Etsy. There's browsing on Etsy and there's searching on Etsy. There's two different codes because that's how the system is. Don't ask. Okay. It's just how it is. Okay. So now I copy the first code and I hit copy. Now you are creating a bookmark. I have Chrome up, okay? And so let me move my face down here, okay. So I have Chrome up, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna right click on the bar and hit add page. You're gonna name this bookmark, whatever you wanna name it, that you'll know what this is. So I'm gonna call it Etsy Best Seller Analysis, whatever you wanna call it, okay, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna delete the URL. See, there's nothing now in the URL. You're gonna now right click and paste, okay? This is the code. Oh, wait, I'm going to call it Etsy bestseller analysis search because this is for searching on Etsy, not browsing. It requires two different codes. Okay, I'm going to hit save. Okay, you'll see it in my bookmarks bar. Why are these things up here? There's too many things. You see it right here. I just have too many things in my bookmarks bar. Okay, so you see it right here. Etsy bestseller analysis search. If I remove something here, hold on a second. Why is there a Canva here? Delete. One second. Why is this here? Delete. Okay, there it is. You see that? It's kind of long, but it's there. That's how you make a bookmark. Now, if you want to do it for the bestsellers for browsing, you do the exact same thing, but you name it Etsy bestseller browsing, whatever. Okay. Now you go to Etsy. And if you're searching, you use one of the bookmarks. If you're browsing, you use the other. Let's do it together. I just searched for funny dad mugs and I'm here thinking, oh, Let's analyze these bestsellers and maybe I could identify common themes, styles, et cetera, that I can either do myself. Uh, we're not copying, we're understanding themes and applying it in our own way. Um, I could do myself either in mugs or not even in mugs, maybe in other, um, other um, industries, okay? Because I'm in stationary. One thing I failed to mention, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Before you copy this entire code, look carefully. I have some text in here that's like, I wrote it. Please analyze this code, blah, blah. You're gonna remove, you're gonna replace the word personalized stationary, you see that? Before you copy and paste it into the URL of the bookmark, you're gonna replace it with your product type. So it will say instead, I want you to tell me how to apply them to my blank product. Yours may be mug product, yours may be embroidery, embroidered towel product, whatever, okay? You have to replace this first. If you did the bookmark already and didn't replace it, you could replace it now and copy again after you replace it, copy it again, go into here. Oops, sorry. Ah, sorry. Go into here, right click it, hit edit. Delete this and paste the new one, okay? I'm glad I even went through that so you could see how you could edit a bookmark if you have to update the code, which I just showed you that you might need to do because it's not, you don't sell personalized stationery, majority of you, I assume. Okay, now we're here and saying, okay, I sell personalized stationery, but I wanna see what's trending in mugs because mugs are being sold like crazy right now. Why? Because of Father's Day, because of teacher appreciation, all that stuff. So right now this is a high sold product. I just did a search. So I click on this little button here I just made. Okay, ah, what happened? Uh-oh. I didn't copy it right, my bad. <clears throat> Let me hit edit. Okay. Let me delete that. And then go to Etsy. 
<clears throat> funny dad mug or funny mug is fine, whatever. Okay. Again, watch the original video. After you click this, it says titles been copied to the clipboard. Okay. A new tab opens up. If you have pop-ups blocked, a new tab won't open up. Don't worry. You can just go to chat.openai.com yourself. Okay. I have chat GPT-4. It's not necessary, but I like it. Okay. Then all you have to do is click on the bottom here and hit paste. Control V. It has copied all the best-selling titles only. And it tells you above that, the text, please analyze these best-selling titles that came from Etsy search results and find the common themes that are trending. Then in a chart form, please tell me those themes in one column. And in the next column, I want you to tell me how to apply them to my blank product. I left it for personalized stationery. You guys should have your own product in there, your own type of product in there. And even if you have different products, you could, you don't have to make different, um, you don't have to make different bookmarks, just change this text before you hit enter, before you send it to AI, okay? So that can create best-selling products and utilize these common themes. Okay, I hit enter, I send it. And now it's gonna give me the information. Watch the other video down below so you could see how I analyze this, etc. Let's do this one more time, but we're gonna do it for the browsing code. Okay, I'm gonna grab the browsing code. Again, change the text to your product type. Okay, mine is per size stationary, yours may not be, okay? I copied the entire code. I hit control C a million times. And then I am going to right click, hit add page. And I write Etsy BS, which is Etsy bestseller, browse. I delete the URL. I hit paste, hit OK, save. Again, I have too many bookmarks here. So it's right here. Now, I have, this is the browsing feature. If you go here and say, you know what? Let me see what's trending in clothing and shoes, okay? You go, you got it open, and you're now saying, okay, I'm gonna analyze bestsellers and browse. And you can go to different browse. Like you don't, I just did a total browse uh, of clothing and shoes. You could go individual, but this is still browsing. I go here, I click on this. It says titles copied to clipboard. A new chat GPT opens up. I go to four. I hit paste. Same idea happens. It requires two different codes for browse and search. Hit enter and ta-da. There's only five bestsellers on that page. However, you'll see in the previous video I linked down below. Please go from page to page. Okay. You might find additional things. Okay. And there you have it. You just created it's not really a bookmark. It's a function to help analyze um, data, but I did it in the form of a bookmark. So it makes it really accessible and easy for folks like you and I, okay? So you could see that the previous one um, kind of analyzed trending themes and how it could apply to personalized stationery. This is gold, guys, okay? And here I did same thing, but for browse. Um, so again, this purpose of this video is to show you, just to show you, let me stop the share, just to show you how to create the bookmarks. I wasn't thorough beforehand. I hope this is useful. Please click the link down below to watch the previous video as I go through this in much more detail. Um, and the doc for the code is, is down below as well in the description. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, share, follow, whatever you want to do. Okay, thank you. Bye.